March is Brain Injury Awareness Month. We're here with Dr. Michael Lawrence. And can you start by explaining what is a brain injury? Sure. You know, brain injury is typically caused by a direct blow to the head or a blow to the chest that transmits uh, force to the head that causes disruption to brain function. Brain injuries can be very severe and can cause bleeding or swelling in the brain, or they can be very mild and be due to chemical changes in the brain. Yeah, as a neuropsychologist, how do you help in the treatment of brain injuries? Sure. Well, I often work as part of a team approach in a multidisciplinary clinic, but it's my job to assess underlying cognitive and emotional functioning, all that can be affected in head injury. So I work with lay populations to help assess uh, behavior, mood, reaction time, memory, attention that can help determine whether or not someone's safe to go back to driving or back to work. And in athletic populations, it's often my job to help determine whether or not the athlete is safe to return back to the field, court, or ice. Mm -hmm. During the month of March, Spectrum Health is holding a number of screenings, yes. and it's to raise awareness about brain injury. Can you tell us more about those? These screenings are designed not only to raise awareness about brain injury, but also to help prevent brain injury. The, the best treatment for this is prevention. And because of that, throughout uh, the city of Grand Rapids and the associated areas, we're going to have screening sessions to assess fall risk. It, they're going to assess static and dynamic balance to help determine whether or not individuals may be at risk of falling and sustaining brain injuries, and then helping to figure out ways to compensate for this, whether it's rehabilitation, or a walker or a cane. Mm -hmm. This is free and it's open to the public and that means that some of the people that are most vulnerable, maybe very young people and older people, Elderly might want to take children, advantage of it. Without a doubt. Yeah. Yes. And you can always go to spectrumhealth.org for more information.